Explorers, good morning, buenos dias, dobre utra, zoan, guten morgen, ohayo gozaimas, and bonjour. Happy Tuesday. Our social skill of the week continues to be accepting no for an answer. Explorers, there are four steps that you need to follow when you accept no for an answer. Step one, as always, we look at the person. Step two, we say, okay. Step three, step three, we stay calm. And step four, probably the most important step, if you disagree, ask later. Remember that if they've already said no to you, you don't want to argue with them. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, your nino, your nina. Because if they said no and you keep arguing, the only thing that's going to happen is that it's going to be a firm no later on. So stay calm. And if you feel that you need to, ask later. I've given you the example of you asking permission from your teacher to go to your locker room, to your locker, but this applies to anything, going to your friend, uh, going to a party on Saturday, staying over with your cousin, and the list is can go on and on, right? But make sure that you follow those four steps and make sure to stay calm. I've shared this, uh, file with you before, how to check books out from our library. And so Mrs. Ordaz will share a couple of words with you. Hello, explorers. We are ready for you to start checking out books. So the first thing that you need to do is log into yisd.tlcdelivers.com. Make sure you log in and put your books on hold. You'll be able to pick them up on Thursdays. Thursday will be our day to pick up and return books. Your parents will need to pick up your books. So when they get here to the school, make sure that they notify the office that they've arrived and will go and take your books out to your car. So if you have any questions, you can call the library. Otherwise, we'll see you on Thursdays. For those of you that are joining us for face-to-face -face instruction, we will deliver those books to your classroom. And so now, how to return a book to the library. Again, here is Mrs. Ordaz. Hello, explorers. Do you still have library books at home? I know many of you still have books from last school year. Well, it's time to return your books. Now, where do you return them? You'll have to come to our school and it'll be at the front entrance. There will be a green box and it's labeled. It says return library books here. You just go ahead and you drop them in. You don't even have to come inside. Now, those of you that are coming already to school for face-to-face -face instruction, if you have library books, you can ask your teacher if you can come by the library. There's an opening on the side and it'll say return library books here and you can just drop in your books. And for everybody, don't forget, you can still check out books. Just make sure you put them on hold online and you can pick them up on Thursdays. Have a great day and keep reading. Thank you, Mrs. Ordaz. And so explores a reminder that we are, the date for our virtual kinder orientations is coming up. We are having two presentations, the first one on Thursday, April the 8th in English, and the second one on Thursday, April the 15th in Spanish. If you have a relative, a friend, someone who you know wants to enroll their kinder child next school year at Alicia Chacon, share this flyer with them tell them that we have this flyer on our social media on facebook on twitter and on our school website if you have any questions or if they have any questions tell them to call us and so this next announcement is for my third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth grade students explorers in grades three through eight i need your help Please help me remind your parents to complete the STAR survey that we sent out last week in case they have not done so. I do want to encourage everyone to come and take their STAR assessments and you see the different dates of the different tests starting on April 27th, 4th and 7th grade, on May 19th, the 8th grade social studies test, and then 3rd through 8th grade will do math, reading, science, algebra the week of May 24th to May 27th. 
explorers. This will help us for next year as we place you in advanced math and in our STEM classes. This will also give us information as to what your strengths and your weaknesses are. And last but not least, we are not going to be using star results for promotion purposes this school year. Teachers, if you will please take a minute or two to answer any questions that students might have regarding these three items that I just mentioned. Thank you. And I know that you already know this. <clears throat> we will have no school on Friday. It is Good Friday. And so therefore, Friday, May the 2nd, April the 2nd, is going to be a district holiday. So enjoy the three-day weekend. And celebrating a birthday today, Tuesday, March the 3rd, we have Vania Rodriguez in fourth grade and Judith Pujanda in eighth grade. <laughs> Happy birthday and enjoy your day. Explorers, are, as always, your safety continues to be our priority. So make sure to continue to practice social distancing. Be at least six feet apart from others. As I've said many times, if you are going out with your friends or with your parents, make sure to stay six feet apart. Two, make sure to mask up. And three, Make it a point to wash your hands throughout the day. Help us remind others to do the same. And as always, have a great day. Do your very best. And I will be seeing you online. Thank you. We'll now recite the pledge to the United States in English and the Texas Pledge in Spanish. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Manténganse de pie para saludar la bandera de Texas. Honor a la bandera de Texas, su permita mi alta a Texas, un estado bajo Dios, único e indivisible. We will now observe a moment of silence for the El Paso and Dayton victims. Thank you. You may be seated. Estudiantes, favor de lavarse las manos varias veces al día y no se les olvide taparse la boca al toser o estornudar. Recuerden que esta es su escuela. Respétala y no le causen daño. Adiós, escuela. Nos veremos mañana.